Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven. In today's video, I have a simple video for you guys. I will be installing Windows 8.1. So Windows 8.1 is a update to Windows 8. It is free if you have Windows 8 already, and I'll be doing that from Windows 8. And it's pretty simple to install, and there'll be some major updates to the system to make it more people friendly. So this is not a review of Windows 8.1. Um, in a couple of days, I plan on doing that. But this video is simply just me installing it. So if you're curious on how to do it, don't want to mess up, feel free to watch this video through, see how it's done, and how you're prepared for it. So like many people, I don't use the start screen. I instead use a Windows um, start menu program, third party. So I will be leaving it enabled. I am pretty curious to see if Windows 8.1 will go on top of it or whatever. I'm assuming though that it will stay on just like this with Windows 8.1. So with no further ado, let's get started. So in order to install the update, you'll actually have to do it through the, through the store. So like many people, I've never really used the store. So as you can tell, I have 10 updates for my 10 apps. And so in order to install it, you're gonna to wanna to go to this and open up the store. And on the very home page, you're going to see update windows. So you can click on that. So on the side here, we have some stuff, um, kind of a couple main features they have. Um, it's a three and a half, just over three and a half gigabyte download. So it's going to take a bit um, for it to download. So um, these features though, like I said, I'll go over on a further review. So in, in order to start the installation, just click the download button. And once it um, processes, it will be added to your downloading queue. And there you go. So basically just sit back and relax and wait for it to uh, finish downloading. I will pause the recording and come back when it is at or almost done. All right, so we are back now. And I actually missed the ending of the download. So what happened was it rebooted by itself. And when it came back, it was just at a red screen, um, basically just sitting there. So I was kind of actually worried if it failed or not. I rebooted and got back to this point. So I really, you guys didn't really miss anything much. The point of the video anyway is just to show you guys what to expect while installing it. Um, this is not a review. I will have a review coming up pretty soon though. And I will have a link to that in the description below when it comes out. So I found the whole installation process to be pretty um, teasing, I guess you could say. Um, it repeated the same things over and over again, and you can kind of see that when you watch the video. But like I said, though, I kind of skimmed through the installation part and bring you more to the interesting part, which is coming up um, really, really soon. So finally, after all this getting ready stuff, we get the license terms. So it's a pretty long um, article. I, to be honest, I didn't read any of it at all. Um, so you can read it through if you uh, install it and you can just skip ahead using that little button there now for these settings we have the express settings which is just um, some standard stuff I decided to go with that I just really just want to get the desktop by now and I'll probably go through the settings anyways later and change this stuff to be honest though most of it's nothing big so now it's time to set up the account this is actually something that I've never really seen before um, Microsoft's really trying to push this, their SkyDrive, so they actually make you sign into your Hotmail account. So I did that, and then maybe sign in again using a verification code um, that they show on the screen. I'm assuming this is because I typed in my password wrong, but I really don't think I did. So let me do that for you. Um, this part of the installation I personally didn't like that much. Because like if you don't have a Microsoft account, they're kind of forcing you to kind of make one. They're really pushing it on you. So it's not a big deal, but to be honest, I wasn't too fond of it. Now this part right here, it was actually really quite annoying. Um, they basically sent me an email on my other account and like made me check my email and do that. You can, can skip it, but they will remind you again later. So I figured do it now. So SkyDrive is their cloud storage. Um, the reason that I said no to this is because I didn't want my ba my documents backed up. I have about four to four to six gigabytes of my documents library, 
I really didn't want to worry about uploading that to the SkyDrive. Um, because in pictures, like, I probably have about 6 to 7 gigabytes in total. And I really don't want to upload that. It's going to take a while. And it's going to kill my internet usage. So, I really didn't want to upload all, all that to the SkyDrive. So, I kind of just hit no. Uh, I might change that later. Or I might set it up just to do certain files. But I just decided not to do that at all. So now we're back to this. Now, like I said earlier, this is kind of the um, part where it just repeats. So it tells you you can get new apps in the Play Store for like five minutes while it's installing your apps. Um, I thought they should have, in my opinion, I think they should kind of copy Ubuntu where it kind of like tells you features about Windows while it's installing. I thought that would be cool. I kind of expected that, but instead I got this transforming color with the words you can get new apps in the store. So that's pretty much it for the installation part. Um, it's just going to do this. And we'll just wait a couple seconds until the next shot comes in here. So like I said, it repeats a lot, so now we have taken care of a few things. So we're just going to do that. And I skip ahead to getting your apps ready. So, does that again. But we're almost there. And now it says, let's start. So it kicks us right to the desktop. Um, and there we go. Alright, so now it's time to go back to a screen recording. So the first thing I wanted to check out was, would the third party start menu work? And to my surprise, it actually does not. I'm able to see in the corner there, that does flicker a bit. And if I zoom in here, I click on it, and it actually does not work at all. So I click on it, it will either glitch behind the start, the start bar, or just doesn't work. So in order to get the uh, normal start button back, I had to go and kill the process, going to the task manager. I'm um, just scrolling down and finding the start menu 8, and just killing it. And then I went and re-logged in, and it worked fine. Now, if you're just an average Windows 8 user and don't have a third-party start button, you won't have this problem at all, so don't worry. But you can tell after I rebooted, logged back in, um, I do have it here again, and it works perfectly. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, like I said, this is not a Windows 8 review. This is more of a um, installing and what to expect when you install. So thanks for watching. Um, if any comments or questions, you can leave them below. And my comment um, question of the day, I guess you could say, would be, what's your first impressions on the update? Is it in a good direction? Is it positive? If you updated to it, um, what do you like about it? What do you dislike? If you haven't, will you update to it? And basically, just leave your first impression in the description below. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I will create a review very soon, and I'll put a link to that review in the description below when it comes out. Thanks for watching and have a great day. This is Dr. Triple O Seven and I'm signing off.